I'm now going to talk about the both the upward resistance levels and the downward support levels. Uh, you will see these referred to as upper resistance levels here and downward support levels here and they're all over the place. Essentially all they are starting with upward resistance levels it's an anchor point okay and for upper resistance levels is a anchor high which has maintained its high without being touched for a minimum number of bars which is a user input in this case I've set it to 40 okay so I'm going to outline that any time we have an upper anchor high that is either untouched or crossed for 40 bars it is a potential it is a upper resistance level and it can be of potential interest to us and these are being drawn all the time for example that one is that one is that one is all these three I'll circle them that one that one and that one okay however this one down here is not this one is not this one is not this one is this one is that one is not because it's crossed as you can see it's crossed over here right so every time we have an upper anchor that is untouched for 40 bars or whatever the input is and that's called the minimum bar requirement it's a user input will define whether or not we are have a potential interest in a upper resistance level so again this one here is um, and this one here is not 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 and not the downward support levels DSLs are the opposite they are anchor lows which are untouched for 40 bars for example there's one there that white bar is one if it is where it is touched we don't count it we have to start over um, this green is not because the price action is broken over there so it's not untouched that one is a downward support level that one is and that one is these are not and essentially the idea behind it is that once we have an anchor hit a certain price I want to find out whether or not um, price action can maintain itself above that level for a certain number of bars all of which carry a certain amount of volume in them typically 40 bars is about a third of the trading volume for the day so I, the idea is that if price action is able to stay above this level for 40 plus bars it's essentially saying that one third of the volume has maintained above a daily volume that is maintained above that price level the moment it's beaten down you know we adjusted lower and lower it just gives us nuances as to what's happening in the marketplace now if we want it to be a little bit more sturdy we will extend the minimum bar requirement to say 60 bars or 70 or 80 whatever all that will mean is that you'll have fewer of them and therefore the resistance level will be resistance or support levels will be farther and few between for example if we were to increase our requirement to say 130 bars okay so that, would, that would be a requirement that would be an upper resistance level as would that that would not none of these would be that would that would that would not that would not and conversely um, of the bottom downward support levels you know depending we wouldn't have any until perhaps maybe all the way over here let's just see how that does play out whether that would yes that would be one okay so this would not be that would be that would be none of these would be and that would be so those are their definitions we'll move on and explain when we use them and why we use them